Hey y'all, it's your girl Kimberly B. And I just came on here um, for a quick conversation. Something that um, I thought about a few, about an hour or so ago. And as you can see the title, it's okay to feel okay. I wanted to just talk about that because I started having some anxieties while I was um, cooking breakfast this morning for myself and my husband. And, you know, I had ran a couple of errands. I had think, did some things around the house and I was making breakfast. I took care of um, some business and I was like, you know, I've done, a, I've gotten a lot of things out of the way that I needed to do that was on the to-do list and just, you know, on the to-do list. And when you have things on the to-do list that you haven't crossed off, it becomes, it starts to feel like a weight that you're carrying. And I just, you know, I was tired of doing that. I, so I started just knocking some things off and after, you know, afterwards and I was making breakfast and I was like, wow. It feels like things are really going well. You know, of course, we know things are, everything's not 100%, but it started feeling like things are really going well. And immediately, I felt a sense of anxiety. And I was like, you know what, this isn't normal. It should be okay to feel okay. You know, and I noticed that we're coming up on the seventh year of my brother's um, death anniversary come April 21st, he, you know, seven years ago, April 21st, he was killed in a car accident. And ever since that day, it feels like my life, my immediate family's life, and maybe some extended family, you know, it's just been, it was literally turned upside down. You know, we've experienced a lot of death in our family, but that one, that one was on a whole different level. That one hit places that, you know, I, I didn't know were there. You know, that one affected us in ways that I've never experienced before. And it changed, it changed our lives, you know, probably forever. And it put a, a sense of anxiety I would say not just myself, but a lot of my family's, my family members' lives, like a, a sense of anxiety to the point. And how I, how I know that is because, you know, whenever I call one of my kids, they'll be like, is everything okay? You know, because I was the one that made the phone call to each one of them. And individually, they weren't together. They were all, you know, at their own places doing their own things. And, you know, I had to notify each one of them individually. And even with my mom notifying me, you know, it was just, it was, it was surreal to say the least. And so whenever somebody calls you, I, I don't know, it just puts a sense of anxiety in, in the initial contact. And so I've noticed that ever since then, whenever things are going really well, I get real anxious, real nervous about things. And I said, you know what? <laughs> it's time out for all that. It's time for all that, time out for all that. And being okay is going to go back to being normal. So I'm gonna stick with it's okay to feel okay. Even if everything is not 100%, if you feel good, <laughs> then ride in that wave. Stay with that. Don't let anxiety, fear of the unknown creep in and, and steal your joy. And so that's just what I'm going with. That's, that's what I'm going to go with from this point forward. You know, things are going to happen. Life happens, you know, and thank God he's allowed us to endure it and move forward. You know, we never get over it, but we learn how to move through it. But I just wanted to come on here real quick, you know, and let you guys know that it is okay to feel okay. Don't let the enemy, fear, anxiety, whatever it is, steal your joy. 
and steal your peace and steal your moment. Just live in that moment, enjoy that moment, thank God for that moment, and just know it is okay to feel okay. All right, I'll see y'all. Peace out. See you when I see you.